Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to Garage Fish Keeper TV. This is your friend Muso in Facebook. And uh, I'd like to discuss uh, today's vlog or my content is about the uh, hybrid which is the uh, Red Texas or uh, Super Red Texas. Now, uh, before, before I start and finish this video, uh, if, if this is your first time to uh, pass by and watch my video, uh, please consider to subscribe and click the notification bell so the next video upload coming you can uh, follow me and uh, watch all my videos maybe you can uh, uh, learn and like all my videos about the uh, fish clipping hobby especially hybrid uh, but before that just sit down and relax prepare your eyeballs high up your volume and uh, just listen to my content please so today as i mentioned for you we're gonna discuss about the uh the red texas now i'm i'm gonna start to uh, discuss about the uh, red texas the rt which is the original red texas now when i uh, start to do uh to do a group or start to create a group in the facebook and i found out there's a lot of groups that's uh also uh, are very active about this hybrid this kind of a uh, hybrid a long time ago this uh, red texas uh, they're together with the flower horn hybrid so when we start about the red texas red texas means is a uh, first generation of uh, thai green texas and uh, commonly uh, breed or pair with uh, black parrot or uh, king kong parrot or uh, super red mammon now what is thai green texas thai green texas in my research this is a combination of cyanogotatus uh, it, it, it's a kind of uh, herectris and also the herectris carpentris which is uh, also worm purling cyanogotatus is uh, that, that spot so they combine together so the the more uh, combination of the purling it's gonna provide a more uh, purling uh, uh, generation for their offspring because the uh, base coloration of your female which is gonna you get is uh, commonly like orange or red or yellow which is the uh, a black parrot so sometimes the coloration base coloration will take out some of the pearls that's why uh, most of the breeders especially Thailand's or some uh, well-known breeders from the United States or, or United Kingdom they highly recommend the Thai Green Texas because of the strong uh, uh, pattern of their pearlings okay so if you're gonna use like a cyano it's okay but it's a lot of culling and uh, a lot of time that you're gonna produce it's a once in a million if you f can find a masterpiece like what you find on the YouTube or in the Facebook that it's a, like a full red and spotted pearl. So that's the first step. Uh, Thai Green Texas and uh, combined with a uh, red, uh, uh, red mammon, uh, parrot fish or uh, King Kong parrot. So when they produce offspring, uh, you will cull them. A lot of column you're gonna do uh, from one inch or two centimeter or 1.5 centimeter you will find all the coloration that is it has a coloration and you will find the spotted pearl you will uh, call them separate them and then after uh, a weeks or a month you will see another uh, pearl or base color coming you're gonna uh, Call them again. This is the basically uh, first F1 generation of the Red Texas. Some people they ask why they produce a lot of Red Texas because in my research and I my observation, especially in Thailand, they uh, produce a lot of Red Texas because they uh, breed a lot of pairing of uh, Thai Green Texas and uh, Black Parrots, so they call. Uh, individually all the batches of the price so they can take all the uh, good quality from that 
So let's say they have 10 uh, pairs of uh, black parrot and uh, tiger in Texas. In one batch, if they produce 500 eggs, they will call them. Maybe hundreds, hundreds of them will produce a good quality triple uh, A masterpiece. And then they, maybe they will get only 20 to 30 pieces uh, masterpiece. And that's that's how uh, this red Texas is very expensive because you're gonna consume a lot of times and some patience and space and everything. All your all your uh, hard work, your time, you will uh, you will uh, provide them and a lot of uh, pairing. So if you wanna do a lot of uh, F1 generation. You need to have a lot of pairs of uh, Tigrin Texas and Black Parrots. So after that, you take all the good quality, the, the good quality of uh, generation on the F1. You will take the uh, the best uh, uh, pattern of a uh, good pearly, and then uh, base color is orange or yellow or red. You need to take it out. You need to call them, you separate them, and all the trash, you don't need it. Sometimes you don't need it. And you, you, you're gonna wait until the offspring or some of the uh, female will lay eggs. And this female, you will bring back to the, the father of the F1 generation or the, the father of the F1. So that one is the it's gonna, it's, you're gonna provide F2 until you get the good coloration. You call them and you call them. That's why this kind of fish is very uh, expensive. It's premium. It's really, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's not a joke to provide a good quality of uh, red Texas of soup or super red Texas. It's not about the money. It's about of time. So after that. There is uh, some kind of, uh, they say, uh, what is uh, SRTH? Now, at SRTH, in my uh, research and my uh, experience in uh, search about the Facebook or books or in the Google and everything, it's about like Super Red Texas Hybrid is, if, if you, uh, this Super Red Texas, if you want to cross that, if you get F3 or F4 generation of SRT, you will breed them to Kampa. Kampa, or you breed them to uh, Zenzu, Flower Horn, or Golden Base. So, the offspring of Super Red Texas, it will has a, it will has a cock or nuchal hump. So, that's how they label the the offspring will produce golden lava. This is how they label it. In the United States, this is how they call it, golden lava. So it has a hump or a cock and it has a plums on the middle, which is the black coloration, a good pearling and a red coloration. And most of them are short body. What is SB? That's a short body also. So a lot of things uh, sometimes uh, on the internet or Facebook or YouTube we don't know about the abbreviation. So if you like if, if, if you liking this video please uh, click the like and uh, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe click the notification bell so in the next video coming that uh, we up upload you can follow me maybe you like you're gonna like my uh, content and you will learn about my experience at, or what I'm doing and uh, exploring my uh, knowledge for the evolution of the hybrid cichlid, large cichlid. So I will thank you for that. And this is Garage Peacekeeper. So if, if this is your first time, please uh, consider to subscribe. So after that, uh, you have the Super Red Texas Hybrid 2018 uh, I've seen in uh, in the Facebook or in the YouTube the 2018 they produce a highly quality of uh, short body uh, SRTH it has a, a short body of uh, Super Red Texas 
Texas and it has a nuchal hump, a good coloration of uh, pearling. Uh, base color is red. It's it's gorgeous. So this is about now, guys. So the next uh, video maybe I'm gonna upload. Uh, next is we're gonna do uh, content about the hybrid about the vieja because uh, most of the breeders right now or hobbyists about these hybriders uh, they, they they like the hybrid vieja especially this uh, five-way vieja they have a three-way vieja what is a uh, red spot what is red head this is the new generation names now from the from the internet they uh, they change the name from uh, the genes and the uh, family name of all the siblings and everything so they label them so once again uh, family uh, if you like this video please don't forget or uh, consider to subscribe my my blog and uh, click the notification bell so the next uh, video upload coming uh, it can notify you and you can watch my next video. Thank you so much. This is Nuso, Abla, uh, Nuso your friend in uh, Facebook, Garage Peacekeeper TV. This is Nuso. And thank you once again for uh, my team or my group here in the Philippines, which is the Super Red Texas uh, First Class Philippines. Super Red Texas First Class Philippines. And then we have also the Targaryen Apex and my team here in Cavite and Philippines which is the uh, Fantasy Horn. Uh, thank you so much. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Kita-kita ulit tayo. Garage Peacekeeper TV. This is your friend Muso in Facebook. Sign up.